Welcome to Cooking with Ranger Rob. Grab your aprons, people. We're going to make something good today. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hi, guys. Welcome to Cooking with Ranger Rob. And today is a quick video. We're just going to make a really yummy steak. And the way we're going to do that is we got one ribeye. Sherry and I buy big ribeyes and we split them. And so all I did was <laughs> use a, a little bit of uh, olive oil, um, salt and pepper, garlic, and uh, uh, holy cow seasoning, and got it all ready right here. And that's it for seasoning. And I'm going to cook it in the Traeger um, and get the temperature up to about 125. Once I get it to 125, the internal temperature, we're going to use the Blackstone to um, sear and finish off the steaks. Once we do that, then um, I'll take it to a cutting board and I cut it up in small pieces and uh, or, or little slices and it should be beautiful. So if you want a quick steak, um, if you don't have a Blackstone uh, and you have a cast iron skillet, heat it up, put a little oil in it, have it ready as soon as you're ready to take it off the um, trigger uh, take it into the kitchen throw it under that a real hot skillet sear both sides and get those flavors in it and it will be a delicious steak check your inter internal temperature and I'm shooting for around 132 to 135 um, and it should be just perfect with just a touch of red in it ought to be yummy so that's how I make an easy steak I'll show you the pictures of how I go through this process. Okay guys, we got the steak in the Traeger now. Uh, I've got the Traeger set at 350 degrees. will be more like 325. And uh, we're gonna take it up, uh, turn it a few times, get some nice cross marks into it, turn it, but I'm gonna get the internal temperature to like 125. Keep checking it. When I'm ready, we're gonna fire this baby up and sear it. So uh, now we just, kick back and wait for it to cook. We got this baby up to about 125 and now got the uh, Blackstone heating up. Uh, I get it over 300 degrees. The way I can check that is uh, I use, come around here, a little uh, electronic thermometer. Give it a zap. We're definitely over 350 degrees. So now we're going to move the steak to the grill and sear it. All right, we're ready to put this steak on here to sear. I'm going to reach up underneath my Blackstone, grab my weight, place it on the top of this thing, and let it sear for about a minute or two. And then I'm going to do a temperature test in the middle here and see if I'm not overcooking it. And I'm doing really good so far. So now it's time to turn it over, sear the other side, put the weight on there, and I'm going to do a temperature test one more time. And uh, yep, I was right on target. I was shooting for around 130 and took it off. And it was time to take it into the kitchen and do a little bit of cut up. Does that look beautiful? And you can see that I have a beautiful pinkness in the middle. And uh, basically what I do is I like to slice these up into pieces like this, put it all on one plate when I'm done and serve it. And Sherry and I will just take the portions that we like uh, together. Uh, usually I take <laughs> Well, it should be 50-50, but it turns out more like 60-40. <laughs> but uh, delicious. Threw it on the plate here, and we're ready to go. And uh, you can just, the pinkness was perfect. The seasoning was just right. And uh, I was very, very happy with it. And it wasn't over-seasoned. And, uh, of course, I have to do a, a little bite here. Oh, yeah. Well, that's kind of what I told Super them. yummy. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.